So I think over the last few years, um, we've seen uh, a greater diversity of, of the investors that are, that are in, in the market. Traditionally, they were Western European based or Western European neighbors, Austrians, Germans. Um, but certainly, uh, we've, of course, also had the US, UK, um, uh, to some extent, a little bit of Middle Eastern money. Uh, South Africans, again, heavily, heavily invested over the last uh, few years into mainly into Poland and Romania. Uh, over the last uh, so two or three years, we've also seen more Asian capital, uh, particularly South Korean, uh, some Singaporean money, uh, but also Philippines, Malaysia, Japan. Uh, and also cross uh, investing in, a, in, in say, let's say, non-traditional sectors such as alternatives, uh, student housing. Um, there's, and, there, and there is a, uh, I'd say, a good demand for all those alternative sectors, but there is, you know, very limited supply, um, even in even in Poland where it's where it's most prominent at the moment. But otherwise, uh, I think the biggest story really is uh, is domestic capital. Uh, so we've seen a lot of Czech capital and Hungarian capital uh, investing. Uh, in their own markets because they know them, they're comfortable with them. Um, they can also, they're also partially, some of them are, are also developing that, that product as well. Um, less so in Poland, uh, partly because of um, legis legislative uh, uh, res res restraints there. Um, uh, but again, as, as we progress, we, we would hope to see that, that loosening and, and see more, more, more domestic money coming from there. Uh, and also, um, you know, those uh, domestic uh, investors are also investing cross-border. So we've, we've heard from Wing today. Um, we've also seen uh, groups like uh, CPI, Trigranit. Again, they're all, they're all um, uh, you know, looking at opportunities across the region, uh, which is their home markets, which they understand. Um, and, and again, one uh, that we will expect to see, one interesting one that we will expect to see, um, in the first quarter of this year was a, was a large scale investment of a large residential portfolio in the Czech Republic uh, in the Moravia Silesia region, 45,000 units bought by a, a Swedish, uh, Swedish investor, specialist in, in, in residential uh, from, uh, from uh, Residomo, which is a Blackstone um, uh, owned uh, entity. So yeah, some large numbers there, 1.3 billion uh, from an initial investment of around 700 million. So uh, you know, nice, uh, nice, nice deal there. So some really, really great, uh, great diversity in the market, uh, which, which again looks, looks, uh, looks promising going forward.